Good evening, Boom Beach. You're watching Snuggles Plays and I'm your host, the one, the only, Snuggles. In today's episode, guys, we have Boom Beach. We are playing Boom Beach. Snuggles Plays Boom Beach. And in Boom Beach, what are we going to do today? Today, we are going to do, as you can see, guys, Dr. T landed approximately 32 minutes ago. This is Dr. T Tropical, I believe. Yeah, Dr. T Tropical. So we're going to be doing Dr. T Tropical today and see if we can blast him out of the archipelago and uh, all his um, stupid little comments and whatnot. Um, we've got the RZCM loaded up, guys, with Sparky in her critters form. Uh, here are the new tribal resets, um, in case you haven't seen them already. So we've got rocket launcher damage, rocket launcher health, resource production, gold reward, heavy health and rifleman damage. Now guys, as you know, RZCM is my absolutely, is, is my absolute favourite troop combo in Boom Beach. And as you can see, we've got the wonderful uh, rifleman damage boost here, which I've already got up to five. So we've got a 60% plus um, rifleman damage boost going on which makes RZCM an even more favourable combo to use for Dr. T and general attacks guys so without further ado let's jump in to Dr. T and we'll see what we can get done guys so let's see stage one is obviously really easy we don't even need to put troops down but I'm going to anyway just because let's throw critters there critters there critters there critters there and cr critters there and we're back guys sorry about that just a minor interruption in just two minutes after I first record which is typical but uh, we're back now so yeah as you can see we uh, we took down stage one there Oh, sorry, I'm really out of breath. I just run up the stairs and I'm ridiculously hot, so sorry about my voice, but I'm just trying to get my breath back and cool down a bit. So yeah, Dr. T stage one goes down. Let's move on to Dr. T stage two. So guys, rifleman, rifleman damage boost. Let Comment down below, let me know what you think about the... Uh, about the current uh, tribal boosts, um, I must admit, in general, they're not that brilliant, really. Um, the rifleman damage is a good one, um, and if you've never used riflemen before, guys, I would strongly, strongly recommend that you use them. You can use them either on their own, they're very powerful on their own, um, or with medics, they're even more powerful with medics, um, or you can use them as I'm using them with their RZCM, rifles, Zooka, Cryoneers and medics. Um, but a, a, lot, a lot of people sort of underestimate them and think that because they're, they've got such low health and, you know, they, they sort of think, see them as a bit of a, like, sort of puny rubbish troop, but they're really not. In fact, if you actually look at the leaderboards, guys, in the world, the world leaderboards, um, a lot of the top players, you'll see if you go on, look at their... Um, their troop loadouts on their on their landing crash, you'll see a lot of the top players actually have um, RZCM um, loaded um, and play with them. Um, it, it's a very worthwhile um, and strong uh, combination. Um, not worthwhile, that's the wrong word. It's a very um, worthy, um, that's the wrong word as well. You know what I mean, guys. It's a very, it's extremely strong um combination extremely strong combination guys um, extremely strong because um, there's just so many of them that's why um, so yeah if uh, if you haven't ever used riflemen before either on their own or um, as part of a combo with other troops I really strongly would strongly suggest and recommend that you do give them a try and especially for the next what is it 14 days while we've got the rifleman damage tribal boost um, give them a go guys I think you'll be surprised if you haven't used them already um, and even at low levels guys even at low levels once you start upgrading them a bit um, even at much lower levels um, they are still 
just as good. Um, I've recently started a second account and my second account is, um, I think I've got HQ8 now and um, I'm basically using Rifle Zooka with Brick and her battle orders and it, it, it works. So um, yeah, um, so do, do give it a go guys. Um, and the, the, if you don't know how to use them, uh, basically the main things are, in general, you want to first of all get rid of like your main splash damage um, defences. So that would be rockets, rocket launchers, shock launchers. Um, they're the two main ones. Um, and then obviously most people don't have enough GBE to get rid of um, everything. But the beauty is you, you don't need to get rid of everything, guys. Um... And especially if you're using rifles with medics, um, then you definitely do not you definitely do not need Um, what am I trying to say here, guys? So it's, I find it really hard to talk and play at the same time. Um, if you're using them with medics, see, I use two boats of medics, and I find that that is um, the perfect combination because with two boats of medics, that's 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 enough healing power to out heal. That's enough healing power to out heal. Um, like if you leave one rocket launcher up, if you leave one, sh even if you leave one shock up, that's enough um, healing power to out heal, uh, to heal your troops from like one rocket or one shock, um, or even from um, machine guns and, and mortars if your if your medics and your riflemen are, are high enough, high enough levels, and obviously depending on if you've got troop health, troop damage boost and whatnot but um yeah they really are good um so that that's generally what i do um i get rid of um and also look out guys for um if you've got like for example these two oh i can't show you these two rocket launchers here um they're like really close together so i could choose to not blow them away with my barrage because i can just shock them instead which is what i'm going to show you now so Instead, we'll get rid of, we'll focus our barrage on, um, on, uh, well, that, that's a lot of health. Um, geez, that's a, that's an extremely, extreme lot of health there. Oh, goodness sake, God, there's a load of health on this stage five. Right, okay, guys, um... So you see... And uh, yeah, critters help and ginormously with with this. Um... With this troop combo. Um... So you can see how my riflemen there were not being killed by that machine gun. My my um my um oh goodness me guys, I can't talk today. My riflemen, my not my riflemen, my medics were um were healing them up nicely. So yeah, um 
that's basically how you how you use the combination in a nutshell. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Stage. I've been forgetting to show the health for you guys on all of the stages, so apologies for that. Headquarters, Dr. I'm really, really struggling to speak today, guys. I apologise. <laughs> um, Dr. T, stage six, health. 180 plus 172, so that's like building health 96, so um, we can ignore all of these flamethrowers and um, we're going to have to blow away those shock launchers, we can just come over the right hand side and blow it away guys, so let's see here, I am missing the, uh, the tribal gumbo energy boost, I'm back down to 110, which is actually still quite a lot, a lot of people don't have that much energy unboosted, um, it took me ages to get to that level but I'm very glad I have it now um might as well get rid of that as well while we're there there we go um okay so let's crack on here so there we go guys stage six down See, you see how we're losing hardly any troops. Um, so yeah, do give it a try, guys. Riflemen are OP, as they say in the lingo dingo. They are OP. And look, we got a crystal there as well. Isn't that brilliant? Every little crystal helps for that power powder, which you're going to need if you want to really, really push um, and get as far as you can in Mega Crab, guys. Upcoming Mega Crab. Mega Crab hype! Woo! Woo! Mega Crab hype! Woo! Woo! Anyway, um, yeah, definitely, um, whoa, okay, so this is stage seven. First look, stage seven, guys, so let's see, health 180 plus 226, 126. Let's have a think about this. Okay, there's, there's a hell of a lot of machine guns over that side. Um, I'm thinking... Okay, I'm thinking we'll, we'll try and go left. Um, I'm more comfortable with going right, but I think as soon as it doesn't look like we can... Let's just get rid of some. So the health is not that great, actually. Look at this. Um... What else, guys? What else? Let's let's get rid of this shot launcher over here. There we go. And just for good measure, we might as well get rid of this shot launcher over here. There we go. Okay. So now, guys. What I'm going to do is there we go. 
Coming over here. Oh, we need a medkit. We need another medkit. And another medkit. Another medkit. Med med oh, I think we can pretty much come over here now. There we go guys, Dr. T's toast steak, do when I can get my tongue back in my mouth guys, Dr. T stage 7 goes down, boom, yeah, so as you can see we did lose quite a lot of riflemen but that is normal, um, we only lost two Zookas, we only lost one um, cryo, so th when you're using this combination guys that, that's very normal, you will lose um, you know, at least half of your, you usually lose around half, maybe three, you know, about half, maybe a bit more of your riflemen, but um, that's the beauty of it. As you see, I only lost two Zookas there. The whole point of riflemen is to, you know, t just protect the Zookas, really. Um, and there's so many of them. Um, it's just a really good, um, a good combo. So there you go. All seven stages of Dr. T taken down you did it commander that evil genius doesn't look so smart now ha 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 no he does not okay guys so um yeah that pretty much wraps it up i think for today's video as you can see we're down to 729 um gotta wait for those to we're just coming to the end of an operation here um oh in fact we actually did it Did we take down? No, we didn't. Okay. Um, never mind. Anyway, I can hear uh, my dinner being ready. So uh, I'm going to sign off and uh, say bye. Snuggles out. Bye.